I have a new womb too in the stand and I would just want to show you a few things that I do every time I touch a kid's bike. These are just a few key tips to make sure that you're setting your kid up for success on their bike. If you're new here, hello, I'm Arlie with Bike Shop Girl, where I am focused on empowering families to get on the bike and leave the car at home. I own a bike shop in Colorado that is focused on getting families and kids on bikes. And with that, I have a lot of tips for getting your kid interested in bikes, safely on bikes, and just riding as strong and safely as possible. First up, I'm always checking air pressure. If you have a kiddo that rides a ton, make sure you're checking these every couple of weeks. I personally have a calendar reminder for every two Sundays to check the air pressure in all of our family's bikes. This is critical because we want them to be as efficient as possible and not having flat tires really helps with that. The next thing I do anytime I touch my kids' bikes is check their brakes. All I'm doing is squeezing both brake handles and checking the pads for wear. If this is a new bike, I'm always gonna bring in the rear brake handle to be a little bit closer to their handlebars. In the US, that is the right, so right is rear, just so that it's easier and faster for them to pull on their rear brake. And if they do pull on their brakes evenly, ideally, the rear is gonna engage first because the lever is gonna pull that rear brake first. And then last but not least, I'm gonna do a bolt check. So I'm checking that the quick releases or the bolts on the wheels are tight, that the chain's not flapping around and handlebars and everything are tight. In the bike industry, we call this the A, air, B, brake, and C, check, over. If you do these things every couple of weeks for your kiddos or when you buy a new bike, your kid will be rolling much more comfortably and safely and hopefully enjoying their ride even more. I hope these tips were helpful. As we get ready for spring 2020, I plan on having more and more kids biking tips. For example, how to transition from balance bike to pedal bike. We're gonna be talking to my friend Mackenzie about what to look for in a good bike camp and reviewing a lot of amazing kids bikes this season. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave them below. So make sure to share this with your friends, hit subscribe, give me a like if you're on YouTube. And until next time, this was Arlie with Bike Shop Girl.